choose a business to get involved with, you get you tend to get into things that you're good at, that make you happy, or just make the most bucks. Oh man, um, that's a variety of answers. I mean, I'll tell you one thing that makes me happy: winning, winning at, at anything I get involved with. I've always been a competitive person. I apply some of the things that I, I do in the world of sports to, to business. I was going to follow up and right. say, say like, what some examples if you have any readily Right. On the top. I mean, when I choose a business, am I doing it? I'm doing it to make myself happy first and foremost. It's things that I already like doing usually. It's things that I would be doing even in my off time. I try to take things that are out there that I can turn into money makers, things that I like to do, whether it's writing, reading, speaking. You know, real estate investing is something that I got a passion for. Um, as you mentioned before, internet marketing. I like the different parts of all these things that they could be hobbies, but you can turn them into money makers. So I'm not just only about what's going to make me the most profit or most money, what's going to be the biggest, you know, breadwinner. I'm also looking at, you know, with my theory of rivers of income, which is which is what I apply. I have some things that I really do and, and are the main money makers, but I also have other ideas that are just things that I'm interested in that are on the horizon and may or may not be generating all that much income right now, but have the ability to, in a year from now, six months from now, two years from now, be one of the things that's actually creating, you know, a bigger chunk of the income. And I just develop it, you know, you, you just develop these things along the way and you, uh, you find that if you pay attention to things, they will also um, start to develop on their own and, and new ideas will start to come out of nowhere that you didn't even expect. I was able to find this landlord, and um, we're a we're actually able to honor finance with a small down deposit. Okay. And with a couple of years now, his house is free and clear. I own it free and clear now, so I'm just gonna do some little rehab and get it done. So you had a, a small down deposit of, of what a couple thousand? You couple said. Couple thousand. Yeah. All right. And you bought this property. Now it's paid off in full, and you, you're going to put a little bit of work into it. And what's the game plan as far as what kind of profit are we looking at on this thing? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand bucks. Yes. That's great, man. And this is right here in in Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Yes. Unbelievable. Okay. So what, what's any uh, advice for anybody out there that you want to keep telling, uh, keep doing their thing, practice anything you learned from this deal? What, what do you want to tell the people? It's all about structuring the, the deal right. It's been having the knowledge. That's what we have. The, my man here, David Oswell to help you guys out with that. Good enough. Right. And, and where'd you get this deal from, by the way? This was with a, a landlord? It was a landlord, yeah. Okay. All right, good. So you got more in the pipeline? I got a few I'm working on right now. Good enough. Why don't you take a shot there, bud? All right, sure. Let's see. <laughs> hey, this is David Oswald with the OutsourceKing.com signing off. Another successful story. Hey, my name's Maggie, and I've got something to tell you guys that's just incredible to me. And that is that I met a man named David Oswald last night for the first time at a presentation in front of a little group that I belong to. And today, I had the benefit of two full hours with this man to work on the problems that I have personally with time and getting my business off the ground. And I mean the ground. Uh, we accomplished so much. I've written it down on a list. I just want to share with you briefly what has happened to me since last night. I am now a member of YouTube. I shot a video. I downloaded that video on my little MacBook using a flip camera. I uploaded it to Facebook, my new, my new Facebook registration. I also registered a domain name. Uh, I am now a member of You Send It so that I can send all of my videos anywhere I want to for any business that I have. I wrote my notes for a marketing funnel that I am now creating in my brand new business. I have the beginnings of a script for a product that I'm developing and I'm going to be marketing. And I just joined a meetup group in my own neighborhood so that I can network with this new business. My life has changed forever. Thank you, David! Take a look at this. I have something to show you. Have you ever wanted to work directly with someone that could change your life and your business? 
You know, we all pay for things in life one way or another. For some of us, we pay for our lack of knowledge and our lack of education. Not exposing ourselves to what could have been. Small decisions often lead to big advances. And oftentimes, fortune will favor the bold ones who take action. Others of us literally pay the price for our information and we invest in ourselves because we know that is what separates us from those who are simply trying to be their best. We know that trying is not good enough. We must execute the plan. Even when it hurts a bit financially. I believe that you are watching this for a reason. You have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. Nowadays, people know the price of everything and the value of nothing. And it looks like this time, it's for real. Come on board. You'll be glad that you did. Welcome home.